The story is about a family that is finding a house for themselves. While searching, they stumble upon a ghostly house. The family, which comes to live here, stays for a little time and then runs in fear. After one year, another family moves into this house. The family consists of a husband, wife, and their two sons. Their second boy, named Kevin, is quite sad because it is difficult for him to shift houses every five months and live there. Although his dad tries hard to create a good environment, he is unsuccessful. Kevin's older brother is similar to their dad as he often contemplates his own life. One night, as Kevin is going to sleep, he hears a strange noise. He checks after turning his phone torch on and the storeroom suddenly becomes cold. When he turns back, he sees a shining spirit of a man. The spirit scares Kevin, but he refuses to be scared. Instead, he begins recording videos on his phone. The ghost tries hard to frighten him, but Kevin starts laughing at its actions. Seeing this, the ghost feels frustrated that Kevin is not getting scared by him, so it retreats into the wall. Kevin can't believe that he has seen a ghost. The next day, while at school, Kevin meets a girl named Joy. She lives near his house. As Kevin talks to Joy, they both feel good, and they develop a strong friendship. When Joy invites him to join her, Kevin declines because he needs to study. He goes home and enters his storeroom. He calls out to the ghost and talks to him. The ghost tries to scare him, but Kevin tells it, I'm not going to be scared. My life is already awful, and it won't get worse even if you try to scare me. After talking to the ghost, Kevin notices a name written on his shirt, and he thinks it might be the ghost's name, Ernest. The ghost can't speak or remember anything. Kevin tries to ask its name and how it died, but the ghost remains silent. When Kevin is about to leave, his older brother arrives. He comes to take Kevin's mobile phone because he didn't drop him off at school in the morning. Kevin had to walk, and when their mom finds out, she takes his brother's phone as punishment. When his brother tries to take Kevin's phone, Kevin kicks him far away out of fear. One day, Kevin's dad watches the video of the ghost that Kevin recorded on his phone. He asks Kevin to share the video, and Kevin agrees. He uploads the video on YouTube. The next day, they receive thousands of views. When Kevin's older brother tries to tell their mom, their dad stops him, fearing she would be scared. They feel happy seeing the increasing views on the video and contemplate potential benefits. The video catches the attention of a paranormal investigator doctor, who initially believes it is fake, just like everyone else. In order to prove its authenticity, Kevin's dad decides to make another video. They enter the storeroom with Kevin and attempt to summon the ghost, knowing that Kevin has a closer connection to the spirit. The ghost communicates with Kevin, so they ask Kevin to call out to him. Kevin agrees and starts singing a song to call the ghost. As Kevin calls, the ghost appears. Meanwhile, Kevin's mom arrives and discovers his YouTube video. Initially angry, her anger subsides when she sees the ghost and fear takes over. She screams loudly, causing the ghost to retreat back into the wall. Kevin's dad records the scene on his mobile phone, capturing valuable footage. He uploads it to YouTube once again, and the video goes viral, spreading across platforms like TikTok and YouTube. A doctor watches the video and, after initially doubting its authenticity, becomes convinced that it is genuine. She contacts an agency that deals with capturing ghosts, expressing her belief in the existence of these spirits and the need to take action. However, the agency's head dismisses her claims, considering the video to be fake. He calls security and has the doctor escorted out of the premises. Later, at Kevin's house, a large crowd gathers outside, bringing immense joy to Kevin's dad. He sees this as the realization of his dream to become successful. The doctor pays a visit to Kevin's house and warns his dad that this situation isn't good for his son. Having encountered many ghosts in her life, 
She believes they are dangerous and that Kevin is at risk due to his close proximity to the ghost. However, Kevin's dad dismisses her concerns and asks her to leave. Meanwhile, Kevin's compassionate nature shines through as he wants to help the ghost. He isn't like his dad, always thinking of others. He desires to send the ghost back to its rightful place. To achieve this, he embarks on an investigation with his friend. During their research, they discover that the house where Kevin's family resides was purchased in 1965, but there is no official death certificate for the ghost spirit. A renowned YouTuber known for creating videos about the deceased and paranormal individuals visits Kevin's house. She seeks to interview the ghost but struggles to summon it. Many start doubting the existence of the ghost, assuming it's all a hoax. However, when the lights start flickering, objects break, and chaos ensues, the ghost reappears, terrifying everyone in an unusual manner. Despite this, the YouTuber remains skeptical, believing it to be a ploy to frighten people. However, when the ghost confronts her and scares her, she flees after shattering a window. Unbeknownst to Kevin's dad, his brother records the incident on his phone and uploads it to YouTube. The video quickly garners 3 million views. Kevin approaches the ghost, urging him to join them in investigating his own life and death. He expresses his desire for the ghost to return to his world. The ghost agrees, and as they exit the house, they are witnessed by numerous onlookers. And he starts running in fear upon seeing the ghost. While running, they reach a park where the ghost is calling out to a little girl, attracting attention and prompting people to record the incident. The video quickly goes viral, catching the attention of the agency responsible for capturing ghosts. The doctor joins the agency's efforts. Kevin's friend discovers an ID belonging to the ghost, revealing a different name and indicating his past employment at a bar. They meet a woman who shows them a picture of the ghost with his friend. Meanwhile, news spreads about the potentially dangerous ghost, especially concerning children's safety. Kevin's dad becomes increasingly worried, driven by his desire to capitalize on the ghost and fulfill his dream of wealth. At night, a CID team arrives to capture the ghost, but Kevin and his friend have already escaped with him. They embark on a long journey to reunite the spirit with his friends. Eventually, they reach their destination, where the ghost's friend recounts their close bond and tragic past. His friend's wife passed away during childbirth, leading him to spiral into drug addiction. One day, he entrusted his daughter to his friend and never returned. The police discovered his abandoned car but not him. In the midst of their conversation, the ghost arrives, eager to speak with his friend. However, the CIA agency personnel arrive to apprehend the ghosts. They employ special machines to control the spirit and confine him in a chamber. The doctor is dismayed to witness the ghost's capture by the agency. The agency's head asserts their authority over the already deceased ghost, much to the doctor's disapproval. Meanwhile, Kevin feels despondent and loses interest in everything. His dad approaches him, seeking forgiveness for his mistakes, realizing that his pursuit of fame and wealth through the ghost was misguided. In the agency, an officer wearing a uniform adorned with an eagle symbol catches the ghost's attention, triggering fragmented memories. The spirit recollects the day he visited his friend to drop off his daughter. As his wife carried their daughter away, the friend attacked him from behind with an eagle-shaped showpiece, resulting in his death. The friend buried his body as part of a plot to claim his daughter since they were childless. The ghost now recalls the entire sequence of events. The doctor, who had inadvertently contributed to the ghost's capture, assists in his release. Meanwhile, Kevin hears sounds emanating from the kitchen, where the ghost's friend awaits. He reveals the truth to Kevin, how his wife had become envious of the ghost's happiness. Their decision to kill him was driven by this jealousy. After confessing, he grabs Kevin by the neck and points a gun at his head. He says, you've learned the truth. Don't tell anyone or you'll have to die too. Kevin's parents rush to protect him as the ghost's friend prepares to kill him. 
In that moment, the ghost appears, face to face with the man who separated him from his daughter. He pummels him relentlessly, but just as he's about to pull the trigger, Kevin's dad intervenes, causing the man to fall to his death. The CIA team later investigates the ghost, only for Kevin to inform them that he had already returned to his world long ago. Following these events, the ghost's daughter arrives, brought by Kevin's dad. After 50 years, they are finally reunited. The sight of his daughter triggers a flood of old memories, and he can now journey to his true world. Kevin is overjoyed for the ghost, knowing that he can live freely in his own realm. His soul is now liberated. Subsequently, Kevin's family moves to a new house, leaving their old one behind. Kevin's friend also grows fond of him, and the film concludes on this positive note. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notification to watch more videos like this and show us support for our effort. Take care.